Here are 15 extremely hidden features and secrets that you didn't know existed in Sea of Thieves. If you're new here, why not subscribe for more content and if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like. If you're holding a treasure chest, you can actually open it in your hands. If the chest is empty or has space for more trinkets, you can hold it over treasure on the ground and place it directly into the chest with a single button. You can also sell everything in the chest by clicking a single button and when you're done, the chest can be sold when it's empty. Not everyone knows about these changes and I can't tell you how many times I see players manually placing items in chests still in 2024. Scattered around the map are campfires on islands and outposts. These campfires can be used for cooking, but did you know that these can be lit by swiping at it with a sword, throwing a firebomb, or even lightning? At Reaper's Hideout, we can find the wreck of Merrick's ship, which was sunk by a megalodon. The ship's name is the Killer Whale. This is actually a reference to Jaws, a classic thriller where toward the end of the film, a fishing boat called the Orca is also sunk by a giant shark. For those of you who don't know, Orca is the official term for killer whale so this is a pretty neat reference you can find the gamer tag of the first ever player to die on sea of thieves located on the ferry of the damned just by the door you can also find the first ever player to die from full damage located at shipwreck bay number six some people don't know that sleeping in your bed on your ship actually heals you albeit very slowly but it heals you nonetheless by gathering eight players on Plunder Valley, you can visit the northwest side of the island to a tree with 16 hanging bottles. When the sun starts to set, if all players stand in the glowing circles and play the Be Calmed melody with all of the correct instruments, you will begin to commemorate Glitterbeard, aka James or Jim White, who is a developer at Rare who sadly passed away. This unlocks a secret chamber with lots of hidden easter eggs in Glitterbeard's memory. Shooting a flare out of the cannons on your ship will actually make the shadow skeletons vulnerable at night time. This is incredibly useful useful on skull forts. The figurehead you unlock for reaching level 50 in the Hunter's Call is actually a reference to Donkey Kong Country. Just look at the similarities. The Black Wake shipwreck found at Shipwreck Bay is actually a reference to the Commodore 64 title, the ultimate play game released in 1985, where players would explore a haunted galleon as a character very similar looking to Pendragon. In the Dark Brethren Pirates of the Caribbean Tall Tales, you can actually find a chest filled with the 882 pieces of cursed Aztec gold right after the Dark Brethren finished their meeting. In this same tall tale, there is also a very clear Goonies reference when players take a slippery slide down a tangled tunnel of waterways and empties into a larger cavern containing a glorious pirate ship, which in this case is the Flying Dutchman. This is a huge reference to one of the most iconic parts of the movie. Did you know that you can actually bury items on an outpost? You cannot post the map, but if you need to quickly hide valuable loot, this might come in handy. Hidden in the Devil's Roar, on your travels you will actually have the chance of finding a secret chest, conveniently named the Box of Wondrous Secrets. These chests can be sold for 25,000 gold and are incredibly rare to find washed up on islands. For our final secret, there can only be one. The Shrouded Ghost. The Shrouded Ghost is actually a fake white megalodon that rare employees and staff will tell you is real, but actually it doesn't exist.